This is this is really bizarre. Yeah, very. A third teenager appeared in front of a judge today charged in that attempted school bus murder. You can see it all going down in this video here. And the details are just really upsetting. These three boys appeared wearing masks and hoodies pulled over their heads. They got into a school bus in Oxon Hill. They pushed right on by the driver, went up to a middle schooler, put the gun to his chest and pulled the trigger three times. Thankfully, nothing happened because the gun jammed. The teenage girl who was in court today, however, was not in these photos, but prosecutors say that doesn't mean she isn't just as guilty. And wait until you hear what's next. Scott Broom was in the courtroom today. He joins us now live. And Scott, you really got the sense from prosecutors today just how young um, these teens were potentially and how dangerous this could have been. Yes, I, I, generally here, the majority of the kids involved are eight graders. And this is very, very dangerous. Now, normally hearings involving juveniles are not open to the public, but in this shocking case of attempted murder by children, the young teens are charged as adults. So with this surprise arrest over the weekend of a girl we were all completely unaware of, there is yet another hearing today that was open to the public. And what we're learning again is chilling. It was a hit squad style attack on a Prince George's County school bus caught on video. A boy with a gun tries to shoot and kill a 14 year old while two accomplices hold the victim down. Had the gun not jammed repeatedly, the victim would surely have died, investigators have said in court. And today in a Prince George's County courtroom, we learned the attack was allegedly orchestrated by an eighth grade girl who's accused of texting the attackers before they rushed the bus to let them know the victim was seated and the last rider left. The 14-year-old girl was arrested over the weekend and charged as an adult with attempted murder. Tense bailiffs in the courtroom watched to keep family members separated. The suspect's family begged for the girl to be released into home detention before trial. But arguments by attorneys revealed there are allegations of gang ties. And the victim's mother begged the judge not to let the girl go home, saying her family and the school bus driver would be terrorized that the girl could orchestrate another attack. She planned this out and she set it up to a T, the victim's mother said. Judge Byron Barriano ordered the girl held without bail in a juvenile facility, saying that home detention may keep her off the streets, but would not prevent her from planning more deadly mayhem. Prosecutor Aisha Brayboy reflected on how dangerous these suspects are alleged to be despite their young age. This case, but we hear parents say, uh, you know, my child's a good child. Uh, you know, that they, they weren't involved. I can't believe it, but believe it. It happens, unfortunately, far too often in our communities. Young people are making adult decisions that have adult consequences. Uh, my office has no choice but to pursue justice, and that's what we're going to do. All right, here at WUSA 9, we are not naming any of the kids involved because they still have juvenile status. In total, we now have two boys and a girl who are in detention accused of attempted murder in this case. But the key suspect you've seen again and again in that video, the boy with the gun is still out there somewhere. They're looking for him and so is the gun. So the victim's mother says her entire family remains terrorized, afraid that this kid may try to silence witnesses or take some other action. So uh, uh, the case still very much open and a lot of fear about the danger these kids allegedly represent in the community. Reporting live at the Prince George's County Courthouse, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. You know, listening to the details here, I think we're like a lot of the folks at home listening. We're, we're talking about teenagers here and a 14 year old girl accused of orchestrating this attack. Hopefully they find this 15 year old or teen gunman sometime soon. Scott, thank you.